August 22nd, Tuesday evening, 1961, a conversation with Morris Phillips, the man that built the tugboat and the two canal boat models, which the Canal Society has just bought. We're looking through <coughs> picture file uh, at the OHA. And the barge canal goes right through Badine on the same spot. A lot of rich people in Badine, a lot of rich homes. Well, you have to dig a hole for yourself to work around there. <laughs> you did that every day, I guess? Oh, we're... Mountains of work ahead all the time. Now I'll show you some of these pictures. There's the way they started pushing the boats up. Yeah. Pushing and sailing this over near Seneca Falls. Got any, got any rafts there with timber and mules used to tow them? There's a fella's drawing wash day on the canal boat. Yeah, that's way back. Yeah. This is back in the ditch. 70s. <laughs> ditch. And... Uh, Oh, this is a boat being built up at Henley's, but that was elite. That's not a regular canal boat. There's the old state inspector. Yeah. yeah I've seen boats like that. That's natural. Barefooted. That's way back in Clinton Ditch. Scow yard. That's one of Abby's drawings. What's this rack here? Well, I don't know what they would call that. That's right, exactly on the north, I guess. You yeah. wouldn't build a boat That's on it. the heel pad, the toe pad. Not a thing like time. that, would you? No. No. Uh, when they build a boat, they put uh, eight by eights or ten by ten, like that. And they have, all oh, maybe 15 of them. Crisscrossed. And blocking on the knees. And that blocking is all fastened right to concrete. And over here, when they get ready to lance the boat into the canal, they have another timber, not quite as big as this one. And they splice this thing together with bolts and washers and nuts. And they rub soap all over this. They have about, oh, about four or five of them. Flush with this one that the boat's sitting on there. And then over here they have a great big thing in the ground, in concrete. A big post, ten by ten. And then they got a ring on it, a pulley blocks. Oh, I've got about, oh, they have about three pulleys in a block. And that's fastened up on a boat here and on the other side. And then they put the steam over here. Sometimes they use horses, three horses. And you take three horses on, three pulleys on a block. That's not a lot of Something's going to come. And, uh, Sometimes they use a, they got an engine here, a boiler, and use steam. And they got a little uh, windlass there, and they put the rope around on it. And the fella pulls on it, and the harder he pulls, well, the more, more it pulls. But I have seen them use horses, three horses up there and three horses back here. And uh, they get that boat started a little bit, and so she tips. They jack her up. I, I'm ahead of my story. They jack this boat up. The fire and they, and they soap here where she's setting. And then they set it down on the soap. They use a lot of soap. They put it down with a brush. The old fashioned saw soap. Yeah, they brush it. And then they put the soap <coughs> right down off the jacks. They jack it up by hand. And then they rub it back down on the waves again. And then she comes. They ain't too hard. I, I, I seen them horses pull, they don't pull hard. Don't stumble or anything. Now, they just let her slide or did they hold it back some? No, don't hold it back at all. Just let her go. Sure, there's no boats coming. When she goes, she hits here. And that slows her up. When she hits the water, yeah. that slows her up. And boy, it really makes the water wait. You wouldn't want to be standing on the other side, would you? You get a splash over the okay. top. <laughs> but after she hits the water, she struggles right up like a duck. That's she is. And the guy that's getting her made, he's standing around. And boy, he feels proud. He feels pretty proud. When he sees There's an old lumber raft. Yeah, there's a raft. It says the uh, raft. 
the, the boatmen always looked down on the rafters. Look, look down. And the men on the rafts, they thought they didn't like them on the canal. Oh, I don't know. Clumsy. I've never, never seen any words used or anything. That's an old boat that used to put in a Sylvan Beach. I don't remember that. G.A. Forbes. Floating hotel. Never and then they take her over to Canastota for the winter. Before my time. Now, in New York, what they call Grant's Creek. Canalers used to go down in New York and wouldn't work their boats in New York Harbor. They would go over in this place and that's the way it looked. Grant's? Gwanis Creek. Oh, oh, oh Gwanis. Gwanis Creek. Gwana, yeah, Gwanis. And there's a water over there that will leave a stain on your boat, like tar. And when you come out of there and get over to New York, in the old salt water and everything, there's that big mark all around your pool. Of course, they only try about that much water. They can always tell where he came from, huh? Yeah. They always know what it did over there. What is it? Oil and junk in the water? Uh, everything in the water. Yeah. Dirty water. And ice and everything. And these canals would fill over the cabin that they lived in. They wouldn't have their awning up. The, the, the weather would rot the awning, snow and stuff. They put a big, uh, something like a wheelhouse, but it's larger. We used to store ours at, uh, down in Troy. And they put that up, and it's put up with hooks in the inside, and hooks down on the deck, so it wouldn't go overboard. So when the people come out of the cabin, they wouldn't come right out in the cold. They come right out, and they had windows around it. Of course, it was cold in there and all that. I can best feel. But it was sort of a storm place, you know. And then there was a door here, and a door over here. Very seldom used this door. You use this door. And then when you come out of this door here, you come on the deck. Then they either had a plank or the horse bridge going ashore. If there's alongside of another canal boat, they wouldn't have nothing. And all the canalers had to do, they all went along, is to sh shovel around here. Now this is sort of a, of a storm porch just ahead of the cabin. That's it, right over the cabin. Oh, oh you mean built right over the cabin? Over the cabin. It was back on the... You see the hatch. The hatch went back. You see, here, here's your... Here, here's take a piece, pick it up. Here's your hatch, your, your cabin, and here's your your deck right here, and here's your hatch. That's where yours was right here. Well, this would be back about right here, and over here like that, and then down here like that, to the here, deck, thing. and then the door was here, and then you went, you went in here and downstairs in the cabin, and then this back went over the over the back. See, your hatch went back about three and a half feet. But you slide back. Yeah. Three and a half feet. This went back about four foot, the other end of it. And then the old man used to stick, my mother used to stick rags around here where she could. No paint or nothing. The old man, how like hell, you put any paint on it. Get down the old top of the cabin. He'd stick rags in here so the wind wouldn't whistle snow in around. Yeah. And down here. It was all tight. Now, if you're looking down at this thing, um, your, your hatch faced to the front of the boat. Yeah. So here's the back end of the boat. Yeah. And your cabin's, what, like that? Yeah. The hatch is here or here? Yeah. Hatch is right there. Now, what did this thing do? Go right around this all the way? The deck. Deck. This is deck About here. that right. Yeah. And then the railing. Well, where did your shanty go now? What, this here storm place? Yeah. Top? That would go on right back that fur and up here to here. And a door here, door here, and up like that. Oh, it was, it was just like a, a, just like a wheel storm house. porch. Just, just like a wheelhouse. Yeah. Yeah. Only it, it would be half yeah. as wide as the cabin. And over here would be the bow stable. And there's a caboose. That hatch is in the middle. And... What'd you call this thing? What's that? This, this storm thing. Storm wheelhouse. Oh, is the wheel in it? No, no wheel in it. No wheel in it at all. It's just like a wheelhouse. It's just a storm wheelhouse, they called it. And then, four o'clock, this is my job. Get the coal scuttle, come out of here, over here, and the old man used to always have about a ton or two ton of chestnut coal down here laying right on the floor. It's right in the stable. There'd be no sawdust or no nothing there. Clean it all out, sweep everything out, throw it overboard. Nothing in there. Only mice. Might be on mice. 
put the coal in here, and then we had a thing here to slide and shut. And one over here slide and shut. It was all locked in. That's and was, over the, and then, the ordinary uh, entrance from yeah, the and then right here was a window, here was a window, and here was a window. And we had slides on here was on the outside. Three windows in front of the stable. Sometimes we had to slide them when we uh, pull out the pull out of the in the harbor out of the pier. Yeah, the water would splash when the tug is towing us. The oh, ferry yeah. boat or something would go by, and then we'd hit that wave and go on the mule's head and kick like a son of a. <laughs> and we used to have to shut them sometimes. Now we used to keep the coal in there. Oh, this is, gang is, is that, tied is up that up picture there. right there? That's the way they used to this look over there at the creek. A lot of canals used to tie over there, and it used to cost, I think it was twenty cents a day, wharfage. To tie up. Huh? Yeah, twenty who, cents who, a day. Who owned it? Who'd you pay? Oh, I don't know. Somebody owned it. I don't know who did it. Now that's why we think a bullhead is, or that steady oh, a bullhead, line right up bullhead all the had, way. Bullhead had a stern on them like that. Yeah, that's that's what this has got. Yeah. But you see, here's your cabin. You got one downstairs. And this know. goes right straight across. Yeah, all straight here. through. There's an 1864 picture of a state work boat, just the back end of it. Mm -hmm. Here's Clinton Square, 1891. Now, this was... And there's a bullhead. Yeah. There's two of them. Yeah. And this is Sig Sawtel Circus. Mm -hmm. The bell. And here they've got the ice cleared off for skating. Mm -hmm. What is this? Clinton Street. Clinton Street Bridge. Yeah. You're looking wild. Well, now the streetcars used to come up here like that and used to rock going over that bridge. Rock. Because it was sort of happening. It took front and back out. Yeah. Well, that's just a picture up on the Champlain. There is a boat that they fixed up for the gospel mission. See, that's got that undercut there. It's an old style boat. Yeah. The swing up here is more unusual. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And this must have been yeah. a sort of a bullhead construction. With it. Yeah. And then they altered it, you see, for people to walk down in there. And they had their. Mm -hmm. Did you ever know the, the Wentworths? No. That's uh, Morris Wentworth. He lived out there. See, the hatches here, I think, are going up to a peak. Yeah, what do you call that peak? High hatch? Coleman. High Coleman. Coleman. Is that thing running now? Yeah, I think so. You want to see how it works? No, I, I've seen them work. I just wondered, I think I heard a noise there. Oh, it's, it's, you just hear it going, yeah. All right. What you ought to have is a button now to, to press. When you want it to hit, want to find something out, press it. Yeah. Uh, because you lose a lot. Well, I'll tell you. We've got uh, old, this is a Revere. And we've got another Revere machine, and the reason I got this a Revere was so I could use the, the, those, they cost like hell, you know, uh, all of these accessories. And this damn new model, they got all different plugs on them, you know, the sons of bitches. <laughs> They're always fixing it, so you have to buy a new set. You know, it's like you can't use your old snow tires on your new car, they just don't fit. Now, let's see what we got in there. There's an old picture from the Post Standard. Oh, this is... Oh, I got uh, some pictures, Homer. This the is the same so. family of Wentworths, and they're out at, uh, at Mudlock on the Oswego Canal there. There's... One in the lock at Port Now, now you're coming up to our style here. Now, our decks are just like this. See that hatch right there? Yeah. There's one there. Well, what do those hatches lead to? That goes down the midship. This is the L boys. Now, what do you have? A ladder in there? Well, the ladder sometimes lays on the grain or something. We never use the ladder when you want to. When you want to use the ladder, we got to lift the hatch up to keep the ladder off. And if we got the uh, rosin or sugar barrel of sugar, the ladder lays down on that stuff. And well, what was the purpose of those? To get down in and check your cargo? No, that's where you unload and mow. Now, you see the hatches on mine. Oh, oh, these go all the way across, huh? Sure. There's oh, one. I see. I they thought should, they were just little. Be, there should be one back here, too. Small. Back of the of Where the that color is there. Mm -hmm. We got the account book. Them boats there is pretty well like our boats. That's the L boys. Now, you see the wheelhouse here. It's got two windows in the back. Art had one. 
wasn't in stand for that long, about that high. Well, that's why the wheelhouse trying to hold it. I had two holes, and one, one hole will do it. And what's that TR boat, EF mean? Where is that? Oh. It's our file code, see? Oh, I Transportation, see. boat, I see. freight. Oh, then there's another one for passenger. And then there's transportation, railroad, transportation, electric for trolleys. And that's that, that picture's pretty real. That's a, that's a crazy one. That's some artist going nuts. There now, there is, there is another one. See the hat there? That's almost hat the same here. build, isn't it? Yeah, and there's one back here. This is now the, you're coming on my, my style, my boat, see? Yeah, this is the Demarest, and it's up on the, next to the roofing company at McBride Street. See, there's, there's the, uh, uh, the Lightning's Lock there. The Lakers. The Lakers. I guess the other one's the Lakers, too. Now, that's a nice, nice boat. So we're painting here. There's a boat with the colored right. stripe. You and wherever you, you see this up here, the fancy stuff. Scroll work. We have to have that up in here. No one here. Once in a while, you see them with a lodge emblem on there. Yeah. There's a state work boat. Yeah, I remember, that. I remember a tug like that used to be around the wheel line. What was the name of that? I forget. I don't know. I don't the Honorable somebody. That's Pennsylvania. That's like that model downstairs. Pointed bow. Coal boat. Yeah. Major High Commons again. That gear's lock. Yeah, it's right up above here. Boy, that's yeah. a crowd of boats, isn't now, it? Now, you see this horse bridge here? It was awful hard and awkward. That's almost you get full that, with the get that, boat, isn't it? You get that bridge, you get that horse bridge out of there. It's over here. Yeah. And you had to pull it all the way back, always off of top of them kind of boats. And on, on, on my kind of boat. Now, this has got a wheelhouse yeah. here. Yeah. There must have been some tie-up. See, the whole canal's full of boats here. They're looking in there, Salvi. Eugene Pettit. That's on the way. Rambler. That's up way. Barnes Dry Dock in Liverpool. All right, that same one again. David Pettit. Everyone's a little different. There's one like mine. And there's one, you see, he's got the Masonic emblem on there. Yeah, he's Thurston. Thurston, I know that guy. Do you know it? Yeah. Old gray hair, shrizzled up a little man. Yeah. He's a nice fellow. He's got along with everybody. Good. Ed, Ed Thurston. Ed Thurston. Yeah. Uh, now, I wonder who built that. It says Montezuma. his cabin is back here. Okay. Ours is up here. Yeah. I noticed that. The boats we had didn't have these kind of hats. I don't know why I didn't make them after our boats. Our boats had hatches. Like I've been, just been showing you, flat hatches. And and just what three three or four of them? No, we had. I see. There's one in the bow, one back of the bow. There's two. And then in the middle there's three. One ahead of the cabin is four. One in the back is five. That's five. Of them. And none of them right together, spaced a little. All apart. spaced there. You had like a ball. Do they have a name for this? Now wait a minute. For one these? is High Commons. What the heck do they call this? I forgot. If I heard it, I'd know it. I forgot the name of that. There's one with an awning up. Yeah, now the awnings is flat. Ours is always flat. A lot of awnings you see was uh, sort of like that. Them oh, boats, no, it just, it just crowned a little bit. Them boats huh? wasn't up to the snuff when you see an awning like that. They, they wasn't up to the key. You're supposed to have it flat, huh? Flat. There was, there was, there was the, the, this here middle one, and one here, one here, one here, one here. That's they, two before. So the, the false. Yeah. Uh -huh. They went down alongside the cabin, and they had a thing like that. Sort of a slot. And then one that two before in. wasn't in that thing. This was a big staple in here, and this thing stuck in the staple, like that. That thing would go down flat. And down in the bottom down here, they had another one. When they put the two before down in there, there was a little play in there, about a half an inch. Not a, not a, not a half an inch. And then this one here... Now, wait a minute. What did you say that this would go down flat? 
You mean when you took the tube off? Like, out. A, like a, When you took the awning off. Like a trunk hanging of handle? Yeah, would go flat. It's uh -huh. the cap. Just like the handle of a trunk. Yeah, be out of your way. Uh -huh. them. And this one here would be about that much higher than this one. See? And then you had lath about that wide. They're a pine painting. They go flush here, over here. They have a shingle nail in there, a shingle nail here, a shingle in here. Be another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Then your awning could go over here and then down on the sides about that fur. About four inches. About three to four inches. And then you tie a rope. Now you've got the awning rest. You've got six upright on oh. the floors. Yeah. And then you've got three cross pieces. And those two before. Two before. And then you got five or six laths running lengthwise. Yeah. Uh huh. And then your awning sets on top of it. Yeah. And then you got a rope fastened down here on this thing here, the top one. Fastened here, and it comes over here, and it's like this. And then the rope off the end of this comes down three inches on the cameras. Comes down here and ties on here. And you pull that good and tight. And it got it all nice and tight. And some of the awnings used to come over here just a little bit. And you're down here in time like mine is. I love that, Michael. Tie you down oh, tie them off to the sides. Yeah, so the sun went down on the cook. That's teaching a mule to get on there. See, that's they got a block and tackle on him. That's it. And you see the other mules are pulling them. Yeah. He oh, doesn't done. care very much for this idea. We've done that a lot of times. Now, see, my boats, what I made it here for you, I was going to do this, but I didn't. I put it up here. Now this, what is I this? I see this here, how it's raised uh, up here. Feed box here. One is the ice box and one is uh, another box there. The key. Vegetables. Vegetables and stuff like that. What what do you call that, a deck box? Deck box. He's got a nice spring pole there for his pump. Yeah. Well, you know, my father never liked to have them in sight. Oh, he did? Oh, no. He didn't want any canals in the <laughs> His folks <folks'll> leave. <laughs> uh, all, all canals is that way. He didn't like to show them things. We had one of them. We had two of them. You always kept them down the side of the midship, fastened on the side, way up high, under the deck. Under the deck? Yeah, in the midship. Tied off there. And when we ever had to use it, we went down there and got it. And get it to held down in the midship again. But he thought if it showed a sign of the you were sloppy. Huh? Yeah, it kind of was a tucking on. Jesus, said, Goldsmith's got a leaker there. It leaks, leaks all the while. The dog's pumping. Get the bad thing going into the canal. <laughs> Now, see the bow lamps out of the air? They ain't got them open. Now, some boats, right, right, right. Yeah. See, some boats kept them there all the while. See, some boats kept them there all the while. We did get them out of the way. Now, sometimes you used to turn this mule around back in the hand, then too. And you fall down in there. Sometimes they break a leg. Oh, some a mule is a mean son of a gun. I mean, like, like a horse. Oh, a mule is awful. But, but you told you me the other day that a mule was pulled better. No when they once get them broke in. Now, here, you see this awning here? A little bit higher, but ours wasn't that much higher. That's so the water run off. It comes up to a peak in the middle. Yeah, yeah. but ours were only just a little bit. Yeah, we saw that one. There's the old Clinton ditch. Oh, yeah, boy. That's that same one again. Now here we're yeah. They take the tail and back see, there. You see the mule tying in from far. Now what they do that for? I guide them. The hind quarters might step off the horse. Oh, doesn't the hind end always follow the front end? No, no, <laughs> they go sideways a little bit sometimes. Now you see these boats here. When they were made, they had like my hatches. Yeah. Or high commons. Yeah. They got disqualified for carrying grain. The bottom's not good. And then they enough. take and they take the hatches all off. And they take the midship, just lays down here, they bring it up to about right there and make another floor in here. Now oh, what's the new floor for? Carry coal. Oh you you can't fill it up as oh, much. No, no. This is the master work, it says. He's got two lanterns up there too. Uh, do you know what the head lanterns what the lanterns represent? Well, somebody says the number of boats in the tow, each one yeah, put his yeah, lantern yeah, up yeah. there. Now, if they got two boats, they'd have two bow lamps. 
You got three boats, you have three behind. So the common fella coming will know how many boats you got. There was a break down there on Schenectady. Yeah. T H O N P S Thompson Craig. Craig. No, I don't remember. I've well, been away, I've been away too long. That belonged to a fella named Tom Washer up the Fellville. Now, you see these windows here? The cabin goes down. It goes and, back under the... Yeah, and you can look out them windows in the cabin. What, is there birth right in there? Yeah, sometimes they have to sit in there. Well, now that's pretty old style, isn't it? Yeah, he didn't have them on our book. Because he went out the canal about 1903. And he took his boat and he, he showed... Hammy. Yeah, yeah. We used to have our hammy. Run the same way the boat did. And I swinging in it all the while. I used to have these things loosened up all the while. The old man was plugging with sticks and a hammer and then driving the staples in again. And he used to holler at me not to swing so high. And all. see that I had my trouble going. There's an old green elevator in New York Harbor. Uh, yeah, that looks very, very natural. There's a lumber boat. Charlie Floyd full of lumber. Yeah. Now a lumber boat always set clean about a half a foot. Side up. To one side? Yeah. Always to the right. Is that right? Why would that be? I never can. I uh, often don't want to ask the old man why they're always chipped. I don't know. Never found out. Of course, you couldn't do chipped. this on your boat with, the, with no. the cabin opening up front. No. No, we never cared. Nothing. Only saw spring. There's a couple up in the Cuga Canal. Light. Now, them boats are something like that. Uh, they got hatches and everything like yeah. that. Well, that's just about the time, uh, around 1900. That's another one up there. Bell there. There's a steel fleet, you were saying. Yeah, yeah. Boy, they went down fast when they started. So. They didn't last long. They, 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 somebody told me that uh, they, they shipped them to Cuba. I think they went to the Philippines the first oh, page. Yeah. Uh, the trouble they, they had... They went the all at once. The, well, it was one company. Um, they had trouble unloading in New York. It took so damn long. They lost so much time in New York, they couldn't... Well, they, they had hatches on, just like our boats. Well, uh, these first boats, uh, the first ones that went through, were carrying... Uh, rails from uh, Ohio to the subways in New York, or the subway and the elevator somewhere there. And, uh, and they brought them across the lake. That was unusual. I and know they sold, the canal. they sold But they only operated about three years, and they pulled them right off because uh, they were spending so much time turning around. They lost... Uh, they really done a lot of damage on the locks. They lost the profit out of it. They did a lot of damage on the locks, too. They scaled the concrete and loaded me. Because they were so hard? Yeah. Deal. Now there's that same picture we saw the before the master workman. And there's the load of lumber. That's down Durhamville. He's got his ice box way up there. Sitting up on top. And he's got cleats up here. And a, a long tiller, you see, that reaches yeah, up so he can stand up there. on top for it. Now we're up to uh, up to St. John's. These are Canadian boats. Where's these caps to wait? Yeah, there's the one that's there's the one that's right there. See. What do you call these two uh, posts that come up from that's the bottom? The, uh, that's the uh, bits. Bits. Yeah, I never even think of the word. I haven't said that word in a long, long time. Well, it's, it's funny how these words will get away from you. Uh, see these telegraph poles? Yeah. It was against the law for these fellas to tie a line on them things to stop the post. They, there's a post. Yeah. Uh, a lot of places on it They're afraid now. they'd root them up. Huh? Yeah, loosen them up. Well, what's he got? Oh, it's his, it's his lamps. If they get caught. See, he's got his lamps here. I, I thought it was... A, a bit of post 
they get caught, they get fined. I suppose some of them went right ahead. There's one up on the Black River Canal. Boy, is that lock full. <laughs> right up there. Fifteen foot lock. That's Black River. Weaver. George Weaver. Gee, that name sounds familiar. That's up the Black River. That's one on the, in the dry dock at Jordan. Uh -huh. Now, if you notice on my boats when I made my laker, I didn't tip these down much. I ought to tip them just a little bit further than what I did. Oh, and you didn't slant the, not, not the enough. irons not quite enough. Not enough. I remember, I, I noticed what? that they were flatter than yeah. I'd expect. Yeah, what, uh, what's this, a break in the canal down in the thing? No, he didn't drag it. Oh, this one. Yeah, that's that break at Pattersonville. Well, I had a little lumber here. That boat is shot. Oh, they used that boat to, to fill here. Yeah. Used it for uh, filing, you know. Out of shape. Yeah, somebody said the other day, well, it didn't hurt the boat much. Well, they don't realize what that was. Three, four inches of twist will do for a boat. And they spring them with the shot, just like automobile. That's down to... Uh, uh, D.E. Allen Dollars. Flannery and Baker and DeLoss Gray. Hey, hey, there is New York, Albany. Yeah, yeah, that's all. There's the Cornell Cut. Yeah. There's your bridge. Yeah. Now, these boats are going to make a turn, you know, like that, way around like that, and go down the river to New York. They're making a tow up here now, high corner. There's your Cornell Cut. Here's your side wheeler. The double stack. Yeah, yeah. they're my side wheeler. Now, when they pull, they have three horses. Is this cuts. little tug pretty near like yours? Oh, yeah, just like mine. No, that big one. The big one, huh? Yeah, the big one. Uh, the big single stack. That's the boss. He's the boss. A big tug. What they have? A couple little ones going along to pull them off. Pick pickups. Uh huh. All the boats to be picked up and take off the tow on the right side. The tug alongside the big tug on the right would do that, and on the other side he'd do the other side. Pick up. Now, the side wheeler. Yeah. Do you ever hear this name, Hegel? Who? H e a g l e. Hegel. 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 Seems so that was the name of a boat. Well, they own these two boats. Yeah. Now here's your hosser. Coming back to these toes. Here's, here's your toe. Here's a side wheeler up here. Now, every time that side wheeler went up this way, he pulled. And when it reversed to come this way, it slacked up a little bit and then pulled again. And that's the way it pulled, like that. And it raised hell with the canal boats. No, not a steady pull. No, not like these tugs here. That was steady. But the side wheelers always had a jerk to them. And the canal is like my father. Sir, almost like a pulse, huh? He'd lay over in Troy until 10 o'clock. He never locked down on the river lap before 10, 11 o'clock to avoid getting in that first couple toes, strings here. He where, always wanted where to get, he was good to be. He wanted to get back in here where he wouldn't feel it Towards the much. tail end, huh? That first tier, it really raised his Well, they had to pull all the boats behind him, didn't they? Yeah. Oh, he, that first tier got the business going. He never liked the first turn of any time. That's interesting. Any time. Well, there's a crowd of boats up to uh, Waterford. Yeah. yeah, now you're getting that. So now the boats are getting like ours. Now. That's the James Foster and two others at uh, Durham. There's the old Sweet. last factory Durham. Uh, there's three boats, triple headed one, yeah. two, three, triple headed, three mule tones. Boy, Empty the pail of water yeah. over there. That's the happy days from there. That's sort of a cute looking girl there. And the happy days. Did I look back? No worry. <coughs> There's another Doran boat, Pendergast. Yeah. Yeah, another Doran. There's three, there was, I think there were three of them. See, his uh, father. His. Uh, Evener up there. Dorm boat, Pendergast. Yeah. Yeah, I'm another dorm. There's three, there was, I think there were three of them. See, his, uh, father. his, uh, Evener up there that's, for that's, a three horse tall. That's your toolbox. Yeah, but on top of the toolbox, see, his, his Evener. Yeah, 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 I see that. It's laying there. 
What'd they call that catch on there that you pulled to let the rope go? You remember those? No, we didn't have anything on our boat to pull to let a line go. Now, right on the... The only thing we had on our boat to let a line go, the old man take his big jackknife out and cut the line. Didn't you... Did you have three horses or two horse teams? We had three mules. All right, so you got an evener like this. Right? Oh, you're talking about the whipple tree. Yeah. Well, oh, here's the way that was made. Well, now look, didn't, didn't you have a, a gadget on there that that uh, held the line coming yeah. in here? Yeah. And that would yeah. was hinged and would no, it would was release? Made, it was made like this. See? Like that. Sort of half moon a little bit. And then there was a handle on this side that come out. And then your tow line was hooked around on that thing, running back here to the boats. And then your whipple tree is on here, the evening. Yeah. And when you want that line to release, you're going to pull the mules in the canal. The driver would take a hold of this and pull it and get waste that hook. Go right through you. Boom. Yeah. Back now, what would you call that? It had a name. I forgot what it was. Well, you think of it and tell me something. Your whipple tree is made like that. And there's one, come out here like that, one over here like that. And then this one here, come out here like that. Come over here, and hooked in the middle. Yeah. And then this one, line was hooked right in here. Yeah. So they all had the same weight. Yeah. Well, I've seen these where the roll pitch is on this thing here. That's got uh, three places. You these are the whipple trees and this is the evening. I'll never forget that. Now this has got a name. This this thing that you put the line on, I've seen made like this. See, so that this is this iron here that that the line went on. You could you could shift the weight a little from, no. from one team to another by these no. notches. No, ours didn't have that. Ours just had this to one hitch right here, which you just set in. In other words, you're taking the heft away from the, the heft of the pull away from one mule. Giving it more yeah. enough. No, yeah. we no, we didn't have nothing like that on ours. No. He's got some little portholes out the yeah. back on yeah. the thunder gas there. Now, when I was a little shaver, the old man used to tie the tow line around under my arm. Yeah. Tie it tight to it wouldn't do away. And I could down here, on here, I couldn't swim. And I'd always be hanging on to one hand. Down over the bustle, out yeah. on the rudder. Yeah, huh? and he'd be up here with it all. Come on, Pooch. Leave loose the line. Leave loose the blade. Leave loose. Oh, no, no, no. You'll slack the line. No, I want not promise you I want slack the line. Uh, oh, I'd leave loose and I'd start try to swim. And I'd get out and slack the line and she's just down on her right going, Oh, I swear I can swim. <laughs> I'd come back up there and he'd pull me up. My mother used to go over there like that, too. She <laughs> my mother over. She never stuck me. Oh, mother gone. Look at the wheelhouse that guy's got. Oh, the tool box he's got. Well, well, you had to keep them locked at all times. People swipe the tools on you. Did you have to have your vegetable box and your ice box? Oh, box? the ice box had beef and big, big ham, a couple of hams into it and everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. Deck box locked and the ice box locked. I had to get locked. Couldn't trust the neighbors, huh? Well, it never locked it along the canal. Only when you tied up and down around New York and Buffalo. Oh. Then you had to have locked. They tell me you had to nail down everything as to who's to. Why, well, down New York, here's a big ship here, and over here we'd be tied over here against the, the dock, or maybe a barge, or maybe another canal boat. They used to steal their lines off the boat. Maybe they steal boats off this boat, and some of them go out in the harbor. Just float away. Yeah, first thing you know, you're, a tug would be alongside you, picking you up. Maybe you're down about eight, ten piers with a tide. Oh, it's dangerous. That's why the old man used to always had a gun. Almost all the always had a gun. That's got a high... Like mine. All the way along there. Yeah. If that was connected, you'd call it a bullet, wouldn't you? It's natural. Now, our boats on our boats, we had... They got two windows. We had three. We had along three. on the side? Yeah, we had... And then did you have back and front ones, too? No, no, just the front, not the back. Had one in the middle, the front. 
One in the middle in the front, none on the back. No. And three on each no. side. And then there used to be a shelf here, and the window was here. And then when my mother used to wash the dishes and things up at one o'clock, she used to take her boiled potatoes, put them in a big, big dish, deep dish. And I remember setting them up on here and putting something over the top. And we had screens up here on the way you come up. And my mother used to take a Pillsbury, Pillsbury uh, fat flour when it was empty. And she cut both ends off. And she cut strips about that wide. And she had a stick about that wide. Maybe it was round, maybe it was flat. And she'd wind it around that thing. And put one, two, three, three or four tacks in it. And then a string on the end with a loop, tie a knot in it. So she could hang it up. And then she had one in each hand. Get the flies out of the cat. She's small. Oh, just like paddles, huh? And then I'd be up here and she'd say, shut, shut the door. And Quick, shut the door. And then she'd go back over the bed and around, start on the floor and up the ceiling. Get them out. Now, them. she had the, these two inch strips were just like bandage on the stick. Tight, or were they flapping? They're all flapping. Oh, oh. She's got a fly. Uh-huh. Just like a pom-pom on a horse. Oh, there is very, it's tough paper. <laughs> oh, this is paper sack. Yeah, paper, paper. Yeah. I was thinking of, this we saw that. I was thinking of, uh, that's the side view of that you were asking. What's he got over his, up, his gear up there? Well, I think it's like got a cover or something. He's got a piece of canvas laying over that. Just to keep, keep the snow and stuff out. Uh, rain. Now, uh, there's an old picture down in uh, Long Dock, Jersey City. See the heart on the water barrel? We used to have a star in ours. I suppose everybody had designing design. Yeah, star, we used to have a star. Not that big. This is a yeah. little head here. Yeah. She comes right down, no... Uh, they were awful clumsy, a bull head, as I remember back there. Oh, they were awful clumsy to handle. So There's that probably, picture that you saw in large Probably just a fall overboard the on that stuff. The thing that they used to fall overboard. There was an awful lot of boats had hatches like I told you here. An awful lot of them had hatches like that. Now, what's the name of that? Or your... That's what I'd call high combing. Isn't the side, no, the the side high, of it combing? No, the high combings are like that. The, the, the pointed hatch. I'm a high, what they call high combing. No, I can't. I can't think of what they call them. Well, if that hits I gotta you find know, out. Know. I don't know where I'm gonna find out, but I'm. Well, you know, sometimes you think about it. Now, this is back in the 1850s at what they call California out near near um, Jordan. You see, that boat has an undercut stern. Yeah. You didn't yeah, see they that. They were they were the way there back. There was a few. Come to think to about, about it, there was a few of them boats like that. I There's I a remember. couple of the old. No, them there I don't remember. No, you, you, you better not remember those. That was too far back then. <laughs> There's that Charlie and Floyd. There's that lumber. We saw that one. This is coming through the while they're cutting up at uh, Blackport during the barge canal boat coming through the old canal there. Now this is back at Troy. This is on a dock. This is, that is a, at the new barge dock at Troy. Is ain't that ain't that Troy where they're making a the tow up now? Yeah. Huh? Well, are, are there, you think they're making up a tow? Yeah, that's the way the toes look. When Either that or they're wondering, I don't know. No, they didn't wonder in Albany. That's Albany because they can tell by the bridge. Yeah, that's right. But they're headed to them. Here's your Cornell tug. Up ahead there by the bridge. That's just like the tug. Well, we're looking north. Yeah, but they wouldn't be on that side. They're always headed this way. They're, on the they're, they're headed upstream. No. Now you're over on the Troy side. And it's this new barge canal terminal. I want you to turn these over and just squeeze out. Right. Now here's the way it was. Here's your bridge. Here's Troy. Up here. Here's the dock here. Here's the Washington Urban dock here. And here's your toe back here. This toe used to make up on this side, and then after that boat went, and then the toe went. They'd make up facing that north. one there is facing, ready to go, not turn. They ain't got a turn. No, they got a turn. There's no, the they're, they're heading north. 
This is the Troy side of the river here. Here's Albany over here. Yeah, but your boat is headed towards the bridge. I think so. So they've got to turn as they go, if that's what it is. Yeah, they turn. I can't, I can't figure the dock of being on that side. Oh. Well, this is the new Bar and Barge Canal dock. Oh, oh. This, is, this to, is late. This I is probably say, 19... I was going to say that, that the dock in Tro Albany, where we made our tow up, wasn't as nice as this. Oh, no. This, oh, this is 1917 or so. Yeah, yeah. 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 Now, this down New York City, the Barge Canal dock. So that's 1912. So when they were building that freight shed there and a bunch of boats. Over the dock. 